Let's take a closer look at my secret garden. Take a walk through. That's my herb garden with my wattle fence. This is a David Austin rose. Oh, the sun is just so bright on that rose, and I can't get it to focus. Oh, there we go. Beautiful. I can't remember the name of that rose right now. I feel like it's Claire Austin. And that's a climber that should climb up my arch made out of recycled windows that my husband made for me. And there is another rose over here looking horrible because Japanese beetles have been using it for meal time. So I have to figure out, and it has some disease on it as well. It's just been a bad year for my roses, especially with the bugs. Some more herbs outside the fence. So let's go into the secret garden. walk down the path. There are several paths. There's a path. And I have a little stone path over here. So maybe we should go this way first, onto the stone path. And that bench is supposed to be obscured by plants because it's supposed to be a hidden place where you can sit. Here is a giant thelictrum. It is huge. I can't believe how big it got. There it is. <clears throat> and I have a mirror over here to um, reflect the garden back, but all it really does is make a cardinal go crazy. He attacks himself so much in that mirror. <laughs> I haven't seen him in a while though. Maybe the mirror's covered up enough that he can't see himself anymore. I, I did plant down here uh, between the rocks chamomile tea, uh, golden oregano. Um, there is some, some sort of a stone crop or sedum growing as well. And then here's my pond. And I've had two water lilies bloom this year. And I did not get pictures of either of them because it was so hot the days they were blooming. I came out in the evening, in the morning, and they bloomed during the day and close up. So I didn't get to see it, but they're pink. So there's porcelain vine growing up my cottage porch. I'm going to plant an old-fashioned rose a climber over on that side. I've tried sweet peas, and they do not do well for me. Here, over here, I wanted to get a picture of this rose. This is another David Austin rose. It's doing horrible this year. Between fungus and Japanese beetles just eating it to death. So I have to I have to figure out the, the bug problem and the fungus problem. I'll just go back this way to show you that mailbox is from my grandmother. Uh, from a long time ago. So that's a special little item. That's the cottage porch. Right there. I made little steps going down because our property ends sort of right there. Um, and then there's the neighbors over there. I wish I had like three more feet, but I don't, so just made steps to 
access around the side of the house, the cottage there. I'll turn back this way. And there's my bird bath. It needs a water change. Old sidewalk that I need to do something about someday. Not anytime soon. And my greenhouse that is falling apart. I planted tomatoes up it to see to, to cover it and kind of make it shady. Well, they didn't grow very high, so let's see if there's any ripe tomatoes ready to be picked yet. Well, there's, they're getting there. I also planted basil, too. Haven't picked any of it yet. There's more tomatoes. <clears throat> and my, what I would like to do is put a greenhouse up that is made from recycled windows because I can get them locally for free and I'd love to put a little recycled window greenhouse here but I cannot build to save my life and my husband has so much going on between remodeling our house and work that I try not to bother him too much about it but one of these days I have to learn how to build and that's chocolate mint that has taken over the greenhouse I like it but it was a mistake to plant it out of a pot and I've learned that <laughs> so that that spots a little messy but <clears throat> that's what's fun about a garden you always have a spot that's you know needs work and I always am changing things I always think I like what I have and then I say no I need to do something different there so the next little spot and this spot back here I want it to be a secret shady place to have a guest to have a drink or whatever but so far it's really sunny except for right now it's in the late afternoon so it's not super sunny back here excuse the weeds they're always with us the weeds my clematis growing up the wall I do have a little fountain back in here, but I unplugged it a while ago and emptied it. And I just haven't done anything with it because these Rudbeckias are kind of taken over. They look terrible. I should probably cut them back. But you can see in there is where the fountain was. Dirty and gross. I'd like to actually get a bigger, maybe a concrete fountain for back here so that it's a higher, a taller standing one. Here's my butterfly bush with gorgeous butterflies on it. I made this table years ago. I love to do mosaics. And the old sidewalk I thought about doing mosaics on that. We'll see. I don't know. I have lots of ideas. Not enough time. But I like little walk walkways that are sort of hidden. I like things to be hidden. Um, a garden, I don't think, should be open. I know everybody has their style. My style is, I want there to be a little mystery that you have to turn the corner to be able to see. 
what's around that corner. And that's what I'm working on this garden. It's still a work in progress. This is a new, as of the spring 2018, this was all grass. And I would like to add more water to the garden too. I don't feel like I have near enough water. So, thanks for watching.